back to my channel welcome to another video not a vlog video okay today i've decided to do a little morning skincare routine i just show you guys what i do in the morning to make my skin feel fresh for the day i'm here to see my skincare routine is as short as possible like short and to the point because first of all mornings are kind of like a little bit it goes I don't know it, it depends on the morning sometimes I'm very active other times I'm so lazy like today because yesterday I slept so late trying to um, finish editing and posting a couple of videos not really posting them but scheduling them so I slept quite late yesterday so today morning was a hustle okay so you see I still am able to do my morning routine because it's short simple and straight to the point okay so first things first I'm gonna brush my teeth because I haven't done that yet I mean, y'all can't tell from the camera, but I haven't done that yet. So let's start. Um, I'm gonna start with like brushing my teeth. Apparently, you're not supposed to brush your teeth after you do your skincare. I think you're supposed to brush your teeth before you do your skincare. I got that ideology from somewhere, so I just go with it. So, yeah. I use this Oral B. Um, it's for sensitive skin. Skin? What? Um, I don't know why I'm showing you guys my toothpaste, but here's the see the weirdest the reason why I'm showing it to you is because first of all it's not used by kids like it's supposed to be used by people over the age of 18. I don't know why, but it has age restrictions and I bought it because ain't no child in this house. It's my toothbrush. It's very um I don't know, I don't I don't exactly what it does, but I just like um, the effect I get afterwards and the last time I went to look for the toothbrush paste the last time I went shopping I couldn't find it so I'm gonna look for it the next time I go shopping because I love this it's not sponsored no part of my video today is sponsored I'm just showing you guys what I like to use and I've been using for a while so yeah so let's start with brushing my teeth And then I have to, apparently I'm supposed to do this before and not after, but sometimes I do it after, sometimes I do it before, but it's time to gargle with this light green tartar control, um, antibacterial mouthwash, um, dentists always, they all have their own theory, oh do it before, do it after, so if I forgot to do it before, I do it after, if I remember, I do it before. Either way, I have to gargle my mouth in the morning. And at night before I go to bed. So that's the two times where I gobble my mouth. Okay, so now into my morning skincare. I start with this. What's it called? Um, the Black Opal Anti-Blemish Soap. <laughs> that's what I start with. It helped a lot like yeah my skin was messed up and i think it was because i was just trying different kind of skincare all the time because i had this dream of having like a 15 step morning skincare routine and then i realized that's not the point the point is to find stuff that actually work for your skin that actually um they better your skin. Don't just put a lot of products that are probably ever they're gonna end up ruining you. Now the thing is, I didn't know exactly what was ruining me because I was using like five different kind of products until I narrowed them down, and now my skin got healed. So, child, skin is my skin is very sensitive. Skincare is very sensitive, down to the product, um, the steps, the stuff, and everything. So. I am gonna grow my skincare routine, of course, but with men, not really, with like professional help. That's the point. So, guys, next I'm gonna go in with my hmm, and huh, like everybody else on TikTok, I don't even know how the fuck to pronounce this name. Um, the La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay child there's this man on tiktok he pronounced this as some child but i've started um i started using this like months ago and revolution child i am in love the point that i want to go um <clears throat> i love the cleanser it's for 
Let's see, it's for sensitive oily skin, oily sensitive skin, it's a foaming gel. And I'm gonna go buy more products from Laure, Laure, with this brand, okay? Because it worked for my skin so nicely, no reaction, no nothing. So I think I'm gonna like, you know, go get something else, you know, from this um, company. I try it out and see how it happens. If they really work well with my skin, I'm gonna buy the whole set. But for now, I only use the cleanser that doesn't even end that quickly. Child, it stays. Like the other one that I had, the first one that I bought, um, I stayed with it for like four months because you just need a little and it really foams up. Again, not sponsored, but if they want to sponsor a video, I'm not gonna be mad about it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so guys, next I'm gonna go in with this Garnier Skincare. Um, it's an active charcoal for anti blackheads. You can use it to wash, scrub, or face mask. But for me, I mostly use it for face masks. Not really face mask, but like scrubs. Cause once in a while, I use it as a face mask. But most of the time, I just use it as a scrub. And I scrub right after um, cleansing. Um, like three times a week, not every single day though. But I something about this um, scrub kind of have, like you know after you brush your teeth, then you chew gum. Whoo, child! You have this weird refreshment on your skin, or after you finish chewing very very minty gum and then you drink water there's this refreshing thing in your mouth that's exactly how i'm feeling like when i use this face mask this scrub and it kind of softens the skin so nicely but it kind of gets messy sometimes if you don't rinse it nicely you're gonna get like scrub on your freaking towels the reason i know that is because it's happened to me a couple of times so be careful but i would 100 percent recommend this if it doesn't affect you you need to make sure it doesn't like react with your skin for me i have probably the most sensitive skin and it doesn't react with me so but the only thing i use from garnier is this scrub and the makeup remover molecule water or whatever that's the that, that thing that i use from them Okay guys, so now my skin is fresh and clean and everything. Um, the products that I use to clean my face kind of like get all the oily stuff outside. And now my skin is so, if you guys can touch it, can you touch it? No, that's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's so freaking um, clean. I feel so soft everything so given that the products that i use kind of like take away not really moisture but the oily shit on the top of my skin <laughs> basically it's time for me to hydrate my skin all over again so i don't like the product dehydrate but kind of like makes it you know a bare surface that's the word i'm looking for so i'm gonna start off with this black opal even true um pha plus bha exfoliating toner it's cruelty free and it's vegan so guys basically um when i'm buying stuff i don't really care for vegan or non-vegan but i do kind of like care for like cruelty whatever because some products are just too cruel for the skin and everything so more like yeah too like rough and stuff so that's the kind of thing i also pay, like kind of like pay attention to because i'm not trying to like ruin my skin there's some um there's some products that basically come with a warning sign just find it you have to just find it okay so the next thing i do i'm almost done with my skincare <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm almost done with my skincare. So the next thing I uh, use is this black opal. Okay, it's um brightening and plumping skin serum, also cruelty free and vegan. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this is even true, but it's still from black opal. So I just do a couple of dots on my face. Just one, and two, and top here. But I just rub them all around with my little fingers, just the fingertips. I 
I used to use like a lot of um, serums on my skin and I think that's kind of what made me break out the first time um, because serums are like the most powerful product of any company because that's the, I don't know, the Hilo or whatever. So it has a lot of concentration and like acids and stuff. So I use a lot, even if they were like cruelty free but they didn't really work for my skin so i terminated it now i've been using the one from black opal and it's been working nicely like my skin looks better um so yeah so guys the next thing or rather the final thing that i use for my face on this morning skincare is this black opal even true not new ah, nutritive nutritionist whatever skin moisturizer with spf 15 um, this is the last thing that I use on my face. Even if it's like the cold and wet season, um, like for example, today's hot. So every day I can have to moisturize with the um, sunscreen because sun is basically the leading aging factor. I get it, like we need the sun, but not every single sun. It's what like it's not every single sun that is healthy. Some suns, basically, okay, I'm talking about the time of the day when the sun is up. Like the morning sun is very healthy, but the midday sun is very cruel because it's at its peak. And the evening sun is just you know mild and everything. So that's why you kind of like um could tell never to be outside like in the sun for so long um during midday because that's the one that gives people like um dizziness and stuff so basically you guys that is my skincare um my morning skincare that's basically what i do every single morning to have a healthy and glowing skin as you guys can see now it's like glowing and stuff so i have a lot of things to do and yeah i'm gonna end this video right here okay like this video if you enjoyed it drop a comment of anything that you want to see and with that guys i want to see you in the next video bye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her